Okay. As you can see, uh, some of the, the onions were planted three to a pot, which was a mistake, uh, one that I won't make again. I didn't realize that all three would take, so I overplanted. Uh, next time what we will do is we will plant one to a pot. Uh, this is a 66 day growth. They were planted October the 28th. I believe that's correct. Um, what you see over here, is is the onion as it's being as it's pulled out of the uh, net pot okay then the net pots are just simply washed off and and uh, any alkali or metal or any kind of salt that has accumulated is washed off and then those pots are set ready to go again uh, this is this is one that still has the rock wool on it and this this is the remnants of all the rock wool that was on all the onions now the rock wool just simply peels off and then it is also washed off leaving you with clean pristine onions you know, the chefs that we're working with, uh, they are uh, going to be using the roots for root onion soup, and they're going to be using the tops of the plants for uh, uh, other recipes, uh, possibly in the onion soup, possibly for something else. Uh, but I've been um, told that these onions, while they're still in water, will last up to an additional week or so uh, in, in refrigerated, of course. Uh, the chef told me that he will be able to use the whole top. Nothing on this onion will go to waste. Uh, my wife and I have already pulled the onion from here that we will be using, and this is the excess that we will be sending down to the El Paso mustard seed. It is a uh, type of soup kitchen that we have here in El Paso. More on uh, what we're growing later. Okay, until then, keep growing.